volcanoes. They remain unknown by nature. It is still not accessible, right? But still we can, to some extent, measure and observe. This is the Icelandic Meteorological Office, the country's official volcano observatory. Here, Sarah Barsadi and a team of 27 monitor the more than 30 active volcanic systems in the country and warn officials of dangerous natural hazards. But just how does this team monitor a phenomenon they can't get close to and help keep an entire country safe? Our eyes really needs to be everywhere. And that's exactly what the natural hazard specialists, they do during the day and the night. The Ole Reykjanes Peninsula has entered what we say a seismic volcanic unrest. We are talking about a phase that will be lasting decades up to hundreds of years. So we are maintaining the monitoring network. For example, seismometers to measure the earthquakes, the GPS station that telling us if the ground is changing, it is deforming. And each single line here is really telling what each single station is measuring in terms of uh, earth movement, right? So earthquakes. The key thing though is its intensity and its, its depth. We can have different views on the eruption site. They also keep an eye on the air quality condition. We are maintaining the geochemical monitoring that is telling us which are the kind of gases that are leaving the volcanoes. If the data indicates a possible eruption, or if an eruption is developing dangerously, the office contacts Civil Protection, who makes a call to evacuate. The IMO also uses these systems to help track volcanic ash clouds for safe air travel. Often that people have been spending here all the weekends, often the nights, early in the morning, um, it has been pretty dynamic, uh, but we keep doing, we keep going. <laughs> Thanks to them, <laughs> essentially. <laughs>